Okay. Now let's say, what if we have something like, continuing on with simplifying these exponents, y to the fourth times y to the third over y to the fourth times y to the negative two. Okay. Um, there are a number of ways you could do this. I mean, first of all, let, let me just actually let's just solve this problem like three different ways. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you like three different ways, three different orders in which you can do it. Okay. First of all, notice I've got this is method number one. Okay. Method number one. First of all, I got a y to the fourth on the top and a y to the fourth on the bottom, and all this junk is multiplied together. So I can cancel immediately the y to the fourth and the y to the fourth. They just they could just go away. That would leave me with y to the third over y to the minus two. The y to the fourth can be canceled because it's the same thing on the top and the same thing over bottom. Anything divided by itself is one. Then further, I can move the negative the y to the negative two upstairs, and that would give me a, a y cubed times y squared. I just moved it upstairs and made it positive. And then to simplify this, three plus two is five. So that would be y to the fifth. That is the answer. That's method number one. I canceled these first, and then I proceeded. Method number two, let's say I don't cancel these first. Um, I'm going to show you something else. Well, what if I combine the exponents in the top and I combine the exponents in the bottom? All, you know, you can look at it here. They're all exponents involving y. So on the top, if I simplify that first, that would be y to the seven, because four plus three is seven. And on the bottom, even though it's negative, that's okay. I can still add it, just like I can do with all exponents. So that would be y to the positive 2, because 4 plus negative 2 gives me 2. Okay? And then when I simplify this, it's simply going to be y. 7 is bigger. So what's going to happen is I'm going to cancel all of these. 7 minus 2 is 5. So I'm going to be left with y to the 5th, because 7 minus 2 is 5. All of the 2's go away on the bottom. They get sucked up canceling two of these two of these y's up here and I'm left with five y's up there. And then the third way is to move the two upstairs first. So let's say I do that. I've got y to the fourth times y to the third and I can move the two upstairs so that's going to y squared I can move it upstairs. It's going to be y squared positive two I moved it upstairs over y to the fourth. Okay. And let's say I simplify this. This is going to be y 4 plus 3 is 7, 7 plus 2 is 9, y to the ninth over y to the fourth. As I added these up, it gives me y to the ninth, y to the fourth in the bottom. And this, the way I simplify this is I just subtract the exponents. I've got an exponent divided by an exponent. It's the same base. It's going to be y, 9 minus 4 is 5. So you see in all three cases, I got exactly the same answer. So you're going to find in algebra that that's going to be the case a lot of the time. That there's going to be a few different ways to solve the problem at hand. And your way may be different than the teacher's way. In fact, your, your, may, your way may be better or even simpler or different or heck, even, even longer and more complicated than the books. But that doesn't mean that your way is incorrect. Okay, let's say I've got x to the negative 4, x to the third, cubed, let's say, um, okay, how, how am I going to go ahead and do this? Well, first, I'm going to simplify the inside. I've got x to the minus 4 times x to the third. I can simplify that by adding these two exponents. Negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1, and this is all raised to the third power. x to the negative 1 is simply 1 over x, and this is all again raised to the third power. And this is simply, remember when you have a fraction raised to an exponent, it's 1 raised to the third power over x raised to the third power. You just put the power to, to the top and the, and the bottom separately. 1 times 1 times 1 is simply 1 over x to the third. And that's the answer. Well, what if I have 
a to the minus 2 times b to the minus 3 over negative, I'm sorry, raised to the negative fourth power. Okay. Again, I'm going to show you uh, a couple of different ways to do it. Or not a couple of different ways. I'm going to show you a different way. I could, you know, take these and I can move them downstairs and then I can flip the fraction around and all that. But this way, I'm just going to do it just t like like typical when I have some something some 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 terms in here and they're all raised to the to the power. I can sort of distribute the exponent in to each thing. So that what this is going to be is going to be a to the minus two raised to the minus four power times b to the minus 3 raised to the minus 4th power. All I did was raise each thing individually, which is the case from the previous video. And then how do I actually simplify this? Well, when I have a, an exponent raised to an exponent, I just multiply the numbers. So this is going to be a negative 2 times negative 4 gives me positive 8. And then over here, negative 3 times negative 4 gives me b to the 12, positive 12 and that's how you do it. There's many ways you could have done this. You could have moved these downstairs and then applied the exponents and all that kind of stuff. I just chose the, more, the most direct path that I saw, which was to do, go ahead and just, quote, distribute this exponent in. Now, I want to caution you to be a little bit careful. I'm using terms like distribute the exponent in, and I'm using those terms because I'm not trying to be mathematically rigorous with the definitions. I'm just trying to get the point across to you to what to do. So be careful when you tell the teacher, oh, just distribute it in. She might, you know, he or she might get upset at you because that's not maybe not the exact terminology but that's pretty much what you're doing okay so proceeding let's say we have something like a to the third over a to the minus fourth all raised to the second power okay again it's all how you want to do it I'm going to choose to move this negative uh, a to the negative four upstairs so I'm going to have a to the third times a to the positive 4 and that's all raised to the second power. All I did was move this bottom thing upstairs and make the exponent positive. Next I'm going to simplify the inside. This is going to be equal to a to the 7 and that's going to be raised to the second power. 3 plus 4 is 7. And then how do I do this? An exponent raised to an exponent. You multiply them. It's going to be a 2 times 7 is 14. And that's the answer. Okay. Now let's say we have something a little bit different. Let's say we have negative 3r to the fourth, r to the negative 3, divided by r to the negative 3, r to the seventh, all raised to the third power. Again, there's many, many ways to do it. I'm going to choose to look at these r to the minus 3 on top and r to the minus 3 on the bottom. I've got the same thing on the top that I do on the bottom. This is all being multiplied together. So I can just simply cancel this with this. It's the same thing as saying that something times 2 divided by 2, the 2's go away. I can cancel those. So let me go ahead and rewrite it. That's, that's one thing you need to learn from algebra. You need to go ahead and rewrite everything after every step. That will really help you. Notice I, I always do this in the class and I always do it in real life. Go ahead and simplify it. Okay. Now how do we proceed now? Well, I've got these R's on the top and I've got these R's on the bottom. I can simplify that. Again, let me rewrite it. Negative 3. And then I've got 4 R's on the top. R times R times R times R. And then I've got 7 R's on the bottom. You know, R and then times itself 7 times. So this entire R to the 4 is going to cancel. And on the bottom, I'm going to be left with r cubed because 7 minus 4 is 3. So I've got negative 3 divided by r to the third and that's all again raised to the third power. I canceled all four of these r's and I canceled four of the ones down here and that left me with seven uh, with three left. Now when you have a fraction you apply the exponent to the top and to the bottom separately so I've got negative 3 time uh, raised to the third power over r cubed raised to the third power. On the top, negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 is going to be negative 27. You can check that in your calculator. And then on the bottom, r cubed raised to the third power is simply r and then 3 times 3 is 9.
so you see we're making some progress not that big of a deal we're just gonna work a few more of these and then I'm gonna call this section done this stuff that we're doing now is bread and butter algebra okay you're gonna really get good at this stuff and it's gonna make your life easier promise let's do let's do one a little bit harder let's say we've got 18 a squared b to the third c to the minus fourth all over 3a to the minus 1 b squared c and this entire quantity is raised to the negative 3 power okay well first note I've got an 18 on the top and a 3 on the bottom so I can divide top and bottom by 3 so I can cancel this 18 and I can write a 6 there's gonna be a, you can't really see that there's a 6 on the top here okay um, again I got b squared b cubed and I got b squared on the bottom so I can cancel these b's and I'm gonna cancel that because 3 minus 2 is 1 so I'm gonna be left with 1b on the top now let's go ahead and rewrite that just to kinda get it all squared away what I'm gonna have is 6 a squared b c to the negative 4 over a to the negative 1 c and this is all raised to the negative 3 power. Okay. Let's say I want to move the C to the 4 downstairs and I want to move this A to the negative 1 upstairs. So that's going to be C A squared A to the 1 B over C times C to the 4th. All I did was move the C to the 4th downstairs and the A upstairs. And this all goes to the negative 3, which is simply going to be 6A cubed, 2 plus 1 is 3, B over C to the 5th. And this entire thing is still going to be to the negative 3 power. And that's the answer. Okay. I want to do a couple problems of a different type. Let's say we have x to the 2m times x to the m. Now these are exponents like any other, it's just that I have m's there instead of numbers. What's this going to equal to? Well it's going to be m, I mean x, and then I'm going to add the exponent, so I've got 2m plus m, which is simply going to be x to the 3m. Okay, that's how you simplify something that looks like that. And finally, the last problem I'm going to show you, what if I have y to the 3m plus 2 times y to the negative m? How do I simplify that? Well, again, I've got the same base. I'm going to add the, the exponents. So that's going to be y, 3m plus 2 minus m. I'll just add the two things, and that's going to be y. 3m minus m gives me 2m plus 2. Just like that. And that's about all I had for this section of the class. I mean, again, the whole lesson is centered around these two things. You get these two things straight here, you're good to go. And just pounding in, you know, over and over, how do you simplify exponents? When they're multiplied together, you can add them. Uh, when they're on the top of a fraction and the bottom, you subtract them and so on and so forth. And this is going to be etched in our brain more and more as we go through the course. Um, pretty much from here on out, we're going to be using these skills. So that about does it for zero and negative integral exponents.